Good morning and welcome to your most watched and most entertaining breakfast show on Nigerian television. Yes, <laughs> I love the fact that uh, come what may, there's always a fresh episode of Wake Up Nigeria every single morning. Definitely, we do it with ease and so much finesse, right? Knowing that you will definitely be there to enjoy the show as we go. Yes, that's right. And you know, as Mazino would say, Let's do Wednesday! <laughs> Can I do a good impersonation? Uh, can we leave my <laughs> Well, it's a new day with another Wonder Women edition to help you get off to a good start as uh, it's a... It's actually a bright idea, if you ask me. Definitely. It is. Absolutely. And we definitely have a special edition for you. And only fine things and bright smiles to bring the sunshine you require to sparkle through the day today. And talking about sunshine, OK, there are so many of us. Mm -hmm. Yes, all four of us are going to be Complete. here today. Oh, yes. she's back, yeah. Oh, yeah, she goes back, yes. Did you have to rub it in? Oh, yes. <laughs> Literally rub it in. <laughs> okay, but really, you get four different smiles on your screen today, and I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Yes, of course. The women of Wake Up Nigeria are definitely known for excellence and holding things down when the men take a break. Yeah, they need a break sometimes. Well, you know, you make it sound so nice. Uh, we literally ask them to leave, like, get out, <laughs> because we deserve a day all to ourselves. Definitely. And uh, because you have earned the goodness on your screens, you know. We'll be spending the next one hour, 45 minutes with you. My name is Winfrey Agbadeshe. And my name is Mary Bashua Alimi. Now, you can stream the show live at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. And you can also catch us on uh, GoTV Channel 27 and UHF Channel 49. Also remember that the TVC app remains available for download on both the Android and iOS stores and catch up with old episodes on YouTube at tvcentertainment.tv. All right, uh, let's uh, tell you what we have in store for you today. We begin with health. And for that, we'll have Bukola Ogudele, a pharmacist and young professional and she'll, she'll be discussing something really interesting with us. We can't wait for that conversation. And of course, on relationship, we definitely always have amazing conversations. And today we'll be asking a very interesting question. What makes marriage sweet? And of course, Daniel Akpata will definitely be here with us. Daniel Akpata is a certified relationship expert and marriage counselor who is passionate about helping people discover purpose and of course, he'll be joining us. And of course, also, we love to celebrate you. This is one of our favorites um, right here. And we'll be celebrating you and your loved ones on birthday shout outs coming up as well. For a musical performance, we have a female dance hall artist, Dark Skin, <laughs> a flexible songwriter and music composer. We can't wait to hear from her. And finally, joining us on the couch, we have two amazing guests. They are crowned queens of the Mer Miss Earth um, Nigeria composition. Esther Oluwa Tosin Ajayi and Ifunaya Basilia Ikechuku, a model and de data analyst who is definitely um, the current Miss Ecotourism. They both will be here for a very interesting conversation on their journey so far. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh wow you know uh this morning first off good morning good morning again again <laughs> <laughs> okay so this morning uh, while we're getting our makeup done mm -hmm. I, I believe it was titi that came up uh, told us about a story mm -hmm. of uh a woman Slam dunk. yes mm. i i, I, I <laughs> mm. okay so we need to tell you this story so it doesn't seem like we're leaving you out of that uh, the conversation yeah uh, according to what i gathered mm -hmm. the woman went after her husband's side chick mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the side chick slammed her mm -hmm. like, like literally, literally lifted, lifted her up and, and slammed, slammed her. her yeah and so uh the person who was narrating the story ignored the philandering husband mm -hmm. ignored every other thing the side chick as well the side chick as well mm -hmm. and uh focused on how women Why? should control their temper. Mm, how, fa how parents should control their daughters, mm. actually, mm. and all of that. And of course, talking about the temper, he wasn't even talking about or referring to the side chick slamming someone, right? Was literally, he was actually referring to the wife that went after the side chick. Yeah, and he was referring to the wife. He said women should learn to control themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, in Yoruba, his exact words were, mm -hmm. meaning, 
they should stop getting, you know, mm. too worked up, that mm -hmm. they should calm down. Eating is normal. Wow. Mm. This is the life that we're living, Sha. It's definitely not balanced. Mm. Indeed, it's definitely not. It's not. not it the, <laughs> you know, one thing I find very amusing, how people try to justify certain actions. Mm -hmm. Like, when someone does wrong, mm. caution the person, teach the person, until... Recently, it used to be a case of if there's a quarrel between a husband and a wife, the person who still gets scolded, no matter who is at fault, is, is the wife. wife. Yes, of course. Uh, but things are beginning to change. change. Like men are now being you know, called out, being yeah. cautioned and all. Mm -hmm. But it's taking so long. The truth of the issue is when I heard the narrator's point, um, I mean, speak, right, what came to my mind was, of course, th this was something he was enabling because it's probably... One of, well, yes, because even the way he was saying it, the way he was saying it, exactly. His wife. Of course, I'm down. Direct, like, that's exactly anyway, <laughs> time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. We begin this hour in Ogun State, where all seems that to not be well with the Opposition People's Democratic Party, as the crisis bedeviling it has taken a new turn. Earlier yesterday, a federal high court sitting in Abeokuta nullified all primaries conducted by the various factions of the party. The presiding judge, Justice Ubuntuimbo, however, called for a fresh primaries within 14 days. The court ruled that all the primaries conducted did not follow the principles of the Electoral Act. Yes, what uh, happened today was that, you know, the matter was brought in by some delegates who said they were are not allowed to participate in the state congress that took place in the state some time ago. And of course, they approached the court to contest that they were not allowed to participate. And of course, my client Shegu Shomi was also sued as the fourth defendant in the matter. But the, my lord in its infinite wisdom today nullified the entire primary that took place in Ogu State from governorship to state assembly level. The case is obvious. The PDP will have to uh, put their acts together and then conduct a fresh primary as ordered, ordered by the court. At this time around, the court was specific that they have to use the, the list that has been certified by INEC because after the primaries, those lists were submitted to um, INEC as a part of his report of covering those um, World Congresses held. So the court has now said that is the list which must be considered in the conduct of the fresh primaries. And as the court was handing down that judgment to the PDP in Ogu State, nullifying all primaries conducted, the presidential candidate of the party, Atiku Abubakar, was in faraway southeast, promising to ensure that an Igbo man succeeds him after completing his tenure if he wins the 2023 general election. The former vice president also vowed to prioritize developmental projects in the southeast and other regions when elected saying that any project in any state is a favor to Nigeria. The PDP presidential candidate made this known while addressing Southeast PDP stakeholders in Enugu. Now, outside Nigeria, Vladimir Putin is likely to announce the annexation of occupied regions of Ukraine into Russia within days, the UK's defense ministry says. The Russian president could make the announcement when he addresses the country's parliament on Friday according to the ministry. It comes as Russia stages a final day of voting in discredited referendums in occupied regions of Ukraine. Ukraine and the West say the result has already been decided by Kremlin and will be used as an excuse for an illegal land grab. Meanwhile, two leaks have been found on the Nord Stream 1 pipeline in Swedish and Danish waters, Sweden's maritime authority says. And the Kremlin has admitted mistakes were made in its drive to mobilize Russian army reservists amid growing public opposition. Now at this point, uh, the news have come to an end for this hour. We have so much more for you. Do stay with us. This is Wake Up Nigeria. All right then, now it's a Wednesday. First of all, I'm gonna say welcome back to Mary. Yes. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> I've been really, I've been really, really, really busy mm, mm. Uh, trying to get well. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I took a though. break to mm. rest and ended up having to treat. You know, mm. It is well. It all, is but well. I'm a lot better now, so mm. it's right. good to be back. Thank you really, so much. as in we, we missed. Good to really have you miss, back. We missed her. Yeah, we did. We yeah. did. We did. Fair enough. Uh, you know, Mary and her unfiltered, 
come uh, on, unfiltered yeah. self. Yeah. I'm, yeah. So I'm going there as a link to what we're talking about. Mm. Once you have a partner, someone you want to spend your entire life mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. do you think it pays to be completely unfiltered? unfiltered? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> because now that you have mentioned it, I'm ashamed to say that it applies <laughs> to my personal <laughs> life as well. <laughs> and I'm using that word shame. Because mm. I know many people will say, oh, it's cool to tell your partner everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes some things you say mm -hmm. come to bite you mm -hmm. later, later on. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, I, I, I've, I've never had a problem with, you know, sharing whatever it is in my mind with um, people I consider really close mm -hmm. Good and friends. then of course uh, with my partner i try to be as open as possible mm -hmm. however i know it gets me into trouble sometimes <laughs> you you just say it mm -hmm. when i say it to you way, guys the way she says it yes. and then I, I'm, I'm seeing you you are looking hurt and i'm like but i just said it uh, <laughs> so there's this i told you so thing yep. that i know men do not like hearing <sighs> that's mude suffering i told you I warned you. I preempted this. You say I that? saw it. So <laughs> I learned the hard way very early on mm. that this is not exactly the way to let this <laughs> out, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but there are some more delicate issues as well. Mm -hmm. Things like um, work decisions, ch uh, choices with jobs, uh, money matters. Yeah. You know, if, for instance, you feel that there's a business your, your, your significant other is going into and you know that this thing might not makes sense later on. Do you go ahead and say something? Mm -hmm. Or do you keep quiet and let them learn their lesson? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, to me, right, I honestly believe in transparency, mm -hmm. right, especially in a marriage, mm -hmm. in a relationship. I just believe, see, I will say the one I need to say. Okay. You take the one you want to take. Do you get? And another thing I think that's also very important is the manner in which you say it, okay. and then time in. <laughs> Mary, let me help you hide very well. <laughs> the manner in which you say it, and then timing. Certain things might actually be... Because for instance, now, you know that yeah, some people are stru stubborn. No matter how, what you tell them, they will do what they want to do. But my aunt is that, let it be said that I said it. Mm. Do you get And I'm like, okay, fine, you say it, yeah, keep quiet. Because the mo I think, for me, the issue was that sometimes when you give advice and you know it's good advice, you get angry when they don't take the advice. Yeah. But at a point, I'm like, okay, you know what? But when it comes to things like, oh, okay, maybe what's, how you feel about something they're doing and all of that, I think timing also and the way it's being said also matters. Okay, so uh, a guy and a mm -hmm. girl start going out. Mm -hmm. And then they eventually get married. And after marriage, yeah, she finds out he has a son. Hmm. He finds out she has a daughter. Hmm. Uh, wow. And then uh, <laughs> wow. finds out that, oh, at some point he had an accident. He can't have any more children. Oh. Wow. And then wow. he finds out that, oh, at some point she lost her womb. Ha, uh, Mary. I'm not saying it's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Where are going to it? But really, yes. there, there are certain vital mm. information that keep, people keep from their significant order mm, because yeah. they don't want to lose, lose the person. them. Yeah. Mm. And so it comes around at the end of the day to cause trouble. Yeah. Say, for example, someone mm. who probably went to school through a sugar daddy, mm -hmm. and then the first time your, your husband-to-be is introducing you to his family, you find out his dad was the one that... It was. Ah, Mary. But these yeah. things happen. It wouldn't have been better if you actually told him. Exactly. Uh, but you did just know and it was And then the, the dad now. says, I'll uh, <laughs> tell my son if you don't continue taking care of me. Wow. And then, then you would tell drama starts. So you have, you but you know what? Yourself. The fear, ah, it will kick me out. Eventually, it will because <laughs> if you do stuff in the marriage, it's even worse. Exactly. Okay. So, so now, um, if you want to push it a step further, there's some. You have to think about the person receiving the information. Mm -hmm. So True. this is not just for guys now. I know that a lot of guys can't handle it if you tell them about their physical appearance, mm -hmm. um, tell them about their height. <laughs> mm. Yes. If yeah. uh, yes, so mm, tell them about certain physical features that might uh, that could be you know enhanced, adjusted, improved upon things like that. Actually, most guys, not yes, so. most guys. And most I think guys, to be honest, it also depends on the kind of relationship you have. But you know, it's also they also know how to give it, yeah. Of course, so, that's the thing. Yeah, it depends yeah, on the relationship issue. you have. For instance, my husband and I is mm. yeah, we so yeah, about sex. Wow, we uh -huh. are you serious? Ah. Uh -huh. 
Hmm. Straight up. Okay. But Straight not, every, up. not everybody. But when he tells me like my own that. bag too, I'll carry face. Say, no, don't squeeze your face. So <laughs> you are doing your own, you know, it's wow. so no, you know thing. women, we know how to give. <laughs> yes. Sir. No, you mm -hmm. know how to give. <laughs> People like me, we know how to find a cheesy way of making you realize. Mm -hmm. Extremely cheesy. Cheesy <laughs> can look at somebody that has a punch and tell the person, wow. <laughs> you yeah. actually thought you had. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> That's not a basketball, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, your belly. Yeah. She's telling you you have a big tummy. <laughs> yeah, wow. Meanwhile, I will innocently just go innocently. and tell you that. Ah, wow. <laughs> How do you walk? Yeah. Yeah. That's me just telling you as it is. Like, so you can know that it's a bit too much. Another way is not just offering the person food. Hmm? Just collecting the food when you see the person eat. Wow. You don't need to say anything. There are some things you tell somebody with the eye. You don't yes. need to come out of your mouth. Ah, are you In sure? the end of the day, you do not say it. Did you say it? Did you say it? Ah, I should learn that. Yes. She's like my mom, she doesn't need to say some things. My yes, mom will just do like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you will get the message. And people outsiders think because of that, she's very hard and mm. they're like, oh. <laughs> my mom will just look at you like this. Ah, it is finished. So bottom off? line, so bottom line, see? being unfiltered, Telling your partner everything, in quotes, everything. So sharing everything, is it mm -hmm. always the best idea? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Are there some things you keep back just to either save your own face, the person's own face? Um, there, there's a lot of decision making, making to have, uh, to, to make on that particular issue. Yeah. And I have a feeling it has more to do with the personality of the person receiving mm -hmm. that information. Timing and... Manna. And on that note, talking about time, we need to call time on this. <laughs> yes, so we'll take this break. We'll be right back. You're watching Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. Yep. <laughs> You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Welcome to the Wake Up Nigeria kitchen. And of course, standing strong with me in yellow, matching our kitchen you today know. is <laughs> Chef Blossom. Is that just morning? <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. It's good, it's good. Good. How are you feeling this morning? Very oh, well. Looking nice. Thank you. I like your hair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like giving us back to back. Mm -hmm. I've been telling you, Chef Blossom, that I don't understand you these this days. Your movement is like. It's, we are on kingdom. Like, do you understand? It's not this Nigeria that yes, everybody is doing kizi kizi kata kata for. Yes. Kingdom economy, Abby. Economy, yes. All right, I mean, today we are cooking. What are we cooking today? We're making um, white rice and beans. Like rice and beans, then. Dirty sauce. All righty. So we say kingdom white rice and, and beans with dirty sauce. With dirty sauce. Mm -hmm. Why is it dirty? Just dirty. Like you have a mix of everything. What's dirty in it? <laughs> it's not like dirty, dirty. <laughs> okay, so now let's run through the ingredients we need for a special dish today. Okay. You want me to do that? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we have our assorted mm. meat. Mm -mm -mm. We have our cow. No, wait. You have to break it down. Okay, yes. Six. In here, we have. Our fuku. Uh -huh. You know, fuku is, is it, what is it called in English? I have no idea. Okay, we have our <laughs> liver. <laughs> yeah. We have intestine. We have towel. They call this one towel. Shaki. Shaki. Mm -hmm. And we have roundabouts. All right. You know, we actually cut them in bits. Yeah. So they round. You know, mm -hmm. I think we have, what's this one here? Like this? this one is liver now. No, this one. This one is long. A, I think that's a long right there. <laughs> I think that's actually the longest <laughs> part. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a long, but okay. yeah, it's just mm -hmm. a mix of everything. Mm -hmm. So we okay. have our cow skin, your Gucci bags, yeah, yeah, Prada <laughs> belts. That's it right there. The one that they ban. Yes. Yeah, the so. ban. I don't know which one this is. <laughs> okay. Have our crayfish, fresh crayfish. Yeah. Have our hot tomatoes, mm -hmm. rodo, that's scotch bunny. Mm -hmm. We have um, some ginger and garlic. garlic. Yeah. We have our Onion. red onions. Okay. We have our debone smoked pala. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Very right. necessary. This fish used to be cheap before, but now. It's very expensive. Mm -mm. Very, very. Mm -hmm. So we have our washed rice. Yeah. And we have our half cooked mm. beans. What kind of, is this honey beans? Honey beans, yes. Oh, nice. I love to use honey beans. It saves me a lot of time. Time, exactly. Yeah. It cooks really quick. And it's sweeter. Yeah, it's sweeter. It's, it's, it's sweeter, yes. So this was cooked with some salt and it's a bit of seasoning. Okay. To give it some. Extra then tips. on top of all of that, you still have, have egg. eggs. Oh. Please, are we breaking kingdom, the egg inside? Kingdom economy. Oh, are we doing it? We're gonna be I said dirty, we're eggs. having dirty sauce. Ah. So just dirty. 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 But I did not see the main dirty, dirty of this sauce. Is this sauce. is not the dirty now. That's okay. nice, so dirty the sauce. The sauce. Don't worry, you, you see it. 
Iru. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's I original wanted date. to use Iru, but you know, it's um some people are very allergic to it, so mm -hmm. you don't want to mm -hmm. try what our mm -hmm. guests do not eat. So yeah, I just no. decided. To <laughs> but yeah, I want to know that's the original. Date, yeah, date. dirty. You know, even this. <laughs> <laughs> so what this is this uh, our seasoning, our seasoning. Season. and in here we have our palm oil. Oh yeah, so run us through the process for making. I think the, for the for this we're just boiling them, right? Yes. So which are we doing first? So we we'll allow the water heat up. Mm -hmm. See, as you can Very, see, it's boiling. Yeah, it's yes. Boiling. So we we'll allow it heat up. We we'll pour in our rice. The rice goes in first. Yes, and immediately we we'll pour in our beans. Okay. So so because it's honey beans, Abby. So that's why we're not doing it first. But this is already parboiled. It's already parboiled. Okay. But I really like, when I'm making this mixture, I like the beans very soft. Soft. Ah. I like it very soft. Okay. And then when you cook it together with the rice from scratch, it, 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 it tastes blend. Well, yeah, yeah, the flavor. Together. Yeah. So we're just going to cook that with a pinch or two of salt. Okay, but the rice isn't parboiled. It's just washed. It's just washed. Okay. So if you want to parboil, it's fine. But well, I like to cook from scratch. All right. Okay, so great. with some salt, I washed it with some salt. So. Have that go into the boiling water, mm -hmm. then that's that. Because we've not parboiled our egg to save you some, the extra mm -hmm. um, um, stress of stress cooking your yeah. yeah and time of cooking your and just gas, all wash your egg properly. Make sure you wash properly. Mm -hmm. You know, then you put, put it, it inside, inside the rice. That's the sort of oh yeah for the sauce. Mm -hmm. For the sauce, we'll heat our palm oil. Okay. Once we Are eat we it, bleaching it or just heating? We're not bleaching. It? Just heating. We're, not, we're just okay. heating. You know, then we'll chop some onions in there. Mm -hmm. Then our tomatoes and pepper, garlic and ginger will have it roughly blended. Blended? Yeah. No, I, I'm following you now. <laughs> so I'll pick out the crayfish. Please always yeah. pick your crayfish. Are you blending this? Yes, I'll blend oh, okay. it. Okay. I'll blend it. Always so we'll, pick your, what are we picking from inside? The, uh, all this it's extra. It's not part of this. It's not part of it. But I will pick it because you have. Has it chosen before? Yes, it actually has. And it's actually very, very painful. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. So I like to the bone and right. then wash and, mm -hmm. of course, wash it, please, with a lot of water, uh -huh. like almost. So it usually comes with so much sand. Okay. Yeah, so please so wash your crayfish. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. So in another pot, we'll yeah. have our... So oh, yeah, we'll have to cook that, we'll right? cook it, yes, mm -hmm. with some um, seasoning and some salt. Can we not salt. just cook it with the rice and beans? Just Inside. say I should ask. Someone say I should no, ask. No, please don't <laughs> try that. <laughs> don't try that, please. Okay. So cook, then, majorly, you just hit your pan, fry your, put in your roughly blended yeah. um, pepper mix. Yeah. Then you put in the, the water from this thing. Please do not throw it away. You should not throw it away. Please don't. Are you serious? Yes. I thought you said it's not good Omi, Omi, Emron. It's part of it. the dead sea. Yeah, the well, dead sea. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're going look how. Then okay. your fish comes yeah. almost towards the end. Okay. And that's about it. All right, amazing. In case you're forgotten, we're making kingdom minded rice, rice and beans, and beans with dead sea sauce. No. <laughs> All right, so on the screen it. we have the menu. We have salt, rice, fish, eggs, garlic, ginger, onions, peppers, palm oil, tomatoes, and seasoning. Yep. Make sure you keep it locked right here so you see how that process goes. Right now, we have Titi sitting on the couch for a very interesting conversation. Hi, Titi. <laughs> Thanks so much. Now, we are really looking forward to what's happening in the kitchen, but then it's time for us to take this really important conversation. Let's talk health. Bukonla Ogundele is with us today, a pharmacist and young professional who's demonstrated strong leadership skills in diverse sectors. Now, she's presently state coordinator of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. And today we're talking a bit about a mental health program that is uh, in the ongoing uh, events. You know what? When it comes to this particular set of events, you need to break down um, what the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria has been doing. Talk to us. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Um, the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria is a body of pharmacists um, across Nigeria, and it is just an association where we look at things that concerns us as a pharmacist, and we can push, you know, on the table, especially when it comes to decision making, we can have a say in the world at large. Yes, so in Nigeria, the association is termed Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. So, but for young pharmacists, we are an interest group under the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. So it's like, you can see the youth arm okay. of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. So when you hear the word youth, you think uh, more exciting, more dynamic, uh, big ideas. Okay. Uh, you think of them doing things differently. Exactly. Uh, but it does feel like events like this have happened many times over the years. Exactly. Um, we did say we we're gonna focus on mental health. 
a part of your program for this year has to do with mental health. Why is this important? Okay, so thank you. Um, we see that with time in, time out, things are changing. You know, before, when it comes to mental health, people just think about the people walking on the street with tattered clothes, naked, that's what comes to mind. But, you know, researches and clinic, clinicals have improved. So we see that even as common as someone having swings, mood swings, that has lasted for like two weeks, mm -hmm. which is tending towards depression is a case to look into. So um, we are actually going to be targeting the young ones, now the teenagers in this case now. Um, our week is running from October 3rd to the 8th of October. Mm -hmm. And on the 7th of October, we'll be going to school, secondary schools, to talk to them about mental health. And this is very, very important because we see that um, drug abuse, which is one of the major causes of mental disorders these days, is not just limited to the adult community. We see that even youths, even the young ones, are beginning to you know explore that so the earlier we reach out to them and help them through this the better for them and that's why we're doing that okay so I'm gonna uh, backtrack now you okay. said you're going to secondary schools yes. to talk about mental health yes so this is really young when I think secondary school I'm thinking SS1 SS2 SS3 I know they don't tag it that way anymore I'm just thinking about that particular age group 15 16 17 year olds talking about mental health um, also there's probably a parent watching right now thinking, did you just talk about drug abuse with, you know, teenagers, uh, 15, 16, 17 year olds? Do you have any information on statistically um, how involved young people are in terms of drug abuse and mental health? Okay, thank you. So I might not be able to give a number at the moment, but from, okay, because mm. sometimes last year, in, two years ago into last year, we had um, a work with um, NAVDAC. Okay. And that, yeah, that has youth against drug abuse, and that was that was what actually brought about this, um, you know, drive and this movement. We, they did their research and they okay. saw that it is increasing. So I might not be able to give you a sure, percentage sure. at the moment, but you see them, you know, it starts gradually. Weed here, mm -hmm. urine here, hemp here, especially with the category you mentioned, the SS class upward. You see them peer pressure, so they they start to you know engage in this, and that is why we're trying to track them all the time. So now linking drug abuse with mental health, um, I have heard uh, some cases where, you know, some people are experiencing some sort of pain, some sort of depression, um, and they're not able to handle those emotions or those swings, and then they turn to drug abuse. Exactly. Not the other way around. I've never heard about it the other way around. Um, are you saying that there are some uh, particular pharmaceuticals uh, let's say drugs now that are leading to mental health specifically because you mentioned quite a few just now yes exactly so um for cases where people are going through issues and they tend to move through drug abuse probably didn't handle the situation well they should have talked to a therapist okay. who could help them through the processes and all of that and get them back on track but for people the other way around now for people that just um, use drugs and now get themselves with a mental condition. Like I said, I mentioned peer pressure, yeah. which is very specific. So for secondary school students, let me just use that age group, for example. Now there is this, I want to feel among, I want to feel like I'm a big boy, I'm a big girl. So they do really not, they don't need a condition to make them go into the, into the use of okay. drugs. They just feel like, I want to belong to these people where they can look at us and say we are the ones controlling this place. And they, they tend to use drugs, which leads them into some mental conditions. So now, um, the, the, one of the key mental issues we talk about quite a lot these days is depression. Exactly. But then there are more serious ones as well. I'm not saying depression is not serious. Okay. There are more serious, serious ones like uh, schizophrenia, for instance. Exactly. Um, could you touch a little bit on that? Okay, thank you. So for schizophrenia, mm. you see people coming up with, um, you know, excessive behavioral patterns. You see them with um, cases of hallucination. Mm. So for people like that, it can actually be managed clinically, but if not paid attention to, it can lead to psychosis. So psychosis is like uh, a total disconnect from reality. Okay. So for people with schizophrenia, yes, like you said, it's, it's important. No, we don't try to play down, I understand your question, but we don't try to play down on, on any disorder at all, mental disorder, because um, for people with depression, as in schizophrenia as well, they can be suicidal. Mm. if not taken care of. So schizophrenia, yes, definitely is a serious, is a serious case. But like I mentioned, early detection and management can also help them out of it. 
Thank you. Um, so you are um, f from the pharmaceutical, um, the Young Pharmacists exactly. Association. Yes, um, Young Pharmacists Group. Group, rather. Yes. Um, now, Young Pharmacists came to meet quite a lot on ground um, in the society. Uh, when they eventually finished school and they got into, you know, started practicing, mm -hmm. they probably see a lot out there that we, the layman, might not understand. Mm -hmm. We go to the pharmacy and we meet a pharmacist. We don't know what they see. We don't know what they experience with uh, a patient over the counter. Okay. Um, as you've been practicing, have you? What is the most common, the most common situation that you've noticed, especially with regards to mental health? Because you know the medication that is used for mental health. Okay. Um, on an on an average, in a week, how many people? Do you think come through to the pharmacy to ask for pharmaceuticals that have to do with mental health? Okay, um, you see people coming in mm. on, a, on an average, mm. Monday to Sunday, mm -hmm. you will see at least three days out of wow. seven people coming in. Wow. But the issue we have now, and which is one of the things we are trying to work on, is um, stigmatization. Okay. You see a lot of people trying, they are not so confident because they know you know what they are coming to feel. And, but as professionals, our own duty is to make sure that they feel comfortable enough to okay. fill their prescriptions because one of the dangers that comes with mental health is keeping medications. Mm. You see people that probably can improve over time, but because they will feel like, what if I go there and someone is looking at me in a way, am I, I just don't want to go. So you see them skipping meds and the condition begins to degenerate. Okay. You understand? So on, a, on an average, you see people working three days over seven wow. to fill their prescriptions. Wow. Okay, so there are a lot of people going through this. There are a lot of people dealing with these situations. You're not alone. Uh, and when we say you're not alone, we mean that you need to reach out. You need to talk to someone. You need to make sure that you connect, especially go to see your doctor, go to see a, a medical professional if you're feeling any kind of way. Three days out of seven, you just said that people come through to get medication for this. So it's not as if there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, there might be somebody watching right now that needs this information. Uh, please send us uh, your messages and comments. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We can't wait to see them. All right, then. Let's take a quick break and be back with more. Oh. It's definitely a warm <laughs> welcome to the second hour of the show. It's still a day with the Wonder Woman of Wake Up Nigeria. We shine brightest in the second hour, and I am so glad that the cameras don't roll off. Should I say off camera? Off air. You don't know what's happening. Because <laughs> the things that happen here. Yeah. Well, you have to stay tuned as we have just 45 minutes left on the show. This definitely. Week. As women, we definitely have the ability to precisely know what exactly you need. And a whole lot. We still have a lot to come. Yes, okay. yes, it did. Yes, of course. Okay, so uh, talking about a whole lot, uh, I know there's a, lo a lot going on in the kitchen. However, we have a lot for you in this hour. Yes, but before we tell you what we have for you, CMM looking all things uh, bright and beautiful. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> I am the sweet. Baba Dudu I'm sweet. the extra sweetness that Baba this meal actually dress like Baba Dudu. Uh, brown and orange. Right? I ain't no Baba Dudu. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Blossom is hard at work as usual, making sure that breakfast is ready in a bit. Yes. And uh, hopefully, whoever's going to have this meal, I just take my along with you. Wow. M.M. M M Michael Jackson of Koche. Wow. Baba Dudu. Wow. Nice. Anyways, we still have so much to come. And of course, one of those many things we have is actually this segment we love so much, birthday sh shout outs, where we get to celebrate you and your loved ones. Indeed. Mm. And then from there, of course, uh, we'll give you a musical performance. We have female dance hall artist, dark skin, <laughs> a flexible songwriter and music composer. She'll be performing for us this morning. And finally, joining us on the couch, we have two guests, the crown queens of Miss Earth, Nigeria, Esther Oluwatosin Ajayi and Ifunaya Baselia, Ike Chuku, a model and data analyst, who is the current Miss Ecotourism. That is going to be a very interesting conversation. Do stay tuned. Those are some stunning ladies. Yeah, wow. it is. Super yeah. stunning, really. Okay, so I need to quickly what? hit the nail on the head. I know you had a ball with the relationship code, but we missed you during the yeah. coffee, coffee juice. juice. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
MM, will you tell your partner everything? Do you believe you should oh, tell your partner no, everything? Mary, don't put me on the spot. Oh. Okay, what's your thoughts you know on you it? Like Let's not use you as just accent. Yes, yes, I know I actually yeah. like yeah, the spot, but please don't put me on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> this is a very intricate question. I don't like to, I, 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 to be honest, I really wish I couldn't answer, but hey, I don't think you should tell your partner everything. Mm. So I think there are certain um, limits, um, um, information mm. that your partner shouldn't know. Right. Such as? Um, I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> highlight on what you shouldn't or what you should. I want to learn now. I say like. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to learn. Google is. Google is your friend. Don't be good. Yeah, okay. but oh I don't know. So, okay, so, so do you think you should tell your, your partner everything in your bank account? No. No? What about you? What about you, Mary? Do I have a bank account? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what really? A bank account. Well, with <laughs> yes, please. Everything. Same way you tell me everything that's in your own bank account. Wow. Please, please. So someone told me that. Uh, what about you? Before I, I say. So. See, mm. No, the answer if, is no. No, no, no. <laughs> if you ask, I will tell. But, but if, if you, you don't, don't ask, ask, I'm not telling. No, I will okay, tell I'll you. I will to ask now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I, I, I feel men, in particular, usually have one account. Like, yeah. one account that you don't even no, know I don't, about. I actually think that it's women that actually have an account that Accounts. their husbands do not know So you know all about. of your husband's finances? Uh, yes, like, I do. Oh. Ah. I do. Because wow. to, to a large extent, right, um, as much as they hate to admit it, men have some level of confidence in their wives, in their wives yes. when it comes yes, to course. savings, yeah. and when finances, it comes to finances. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when it comes to, okay, what are the investment plans we need to make? What are the plans, financial plans we need to make? But for the women, we are very treacherous. <laughs> so, uh, wow, you we keep it. You nice. are very, very treacherous. treacherous. Let me you say the way she said you. Me. You are very treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you know, this is actually not such a bad idea to have your nest egg somewhere. Like mm. you have something somewhere because yeah. I, I've actually Rainy heard day fund. Yeah. yeah, several yeah, women who say because their husband knew or mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. that they have certain the money monies. Lost. Yeah, the man never will lost. always say, ah. Uh -uh. Uh, Shabi, you have money now. Uh, yes. Uh, Shabi, exactly. you can help me do this exactly. now. Uh, and then you know he can afford it. You know he has the yeah. money. You know he, he doesn't really have any project he's working on. But because you have it, he's not willing to... No, that's the thing. My own is straightforward. It's like, okay, fine. You know the money does not affect what's meant to be happening. What's I don't meant understand. To, what's no, meant it's not, no, it doesn't affect. No, your stipend. No, it's true now. Is it your pocket money? Uh, hello. Your no, it's not your... It's your business. Yes, yes, we know. But then it again... It affects the weather. It shouldn't affect it. <laughs> it shouldn't affect <laughs> Absolutely. the weather. Time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. Uh, we begin uh, with uh, the APC, where a 20-member committee has been inaugurated into the Tinubu support organization in Bielsa State. The body says it is poised to galvanize massive votes for the APC presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, in the forthcoming elections next year. We have details in this report. With members caught across the 36 states of the nation, members of the Tinubu Support Organization are gathered at the State Secretariat of the All Progressives Congress in Yanagua for the official inauguration of the body in the state. Do solemnly affirm. At the swearing-in ceremony, the state chairman of the party, Dennis Utirutu, admonishes the new executives to carry out grassroots mobilization campaigns to secure votes en masse for the ABC. You have been given a very serious task to galvanize support for our presidential candidate and for other candidates likewise. Show them the reason why they must vote for our presidential candidate. The problem in Nigeria now is about regions. We have the north and we have the south. And it is a more equitable to say that if one region had occupied the office of president for eight years, it is only fair and equitable that it goes to the other region. And that is what APC represents. The body believes that the pair of Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Chetima will deliver the dividends of democracy to Nigerians when voted into office next year. We are certain that APC is going to give our one million plus vote to Tinibu in Bayasa State. Because we have the confidence that the leader, Asiwaju, has the competence to rule this nation. And we are not intimidated by the ruling party in the state. We are going to subdue, when I mean subdue, we are going to subdue 
the capacity of the PDP and deliver our votes for Siwaju. They are going back home to spread the gospel of Tinubu Shetima. It's a leader who has experience. That's what we're going to show as our report card. The next presidential election, Bayesa State will win minimum of 80% votes. We also believe that even the Guba election in the next one year, APC will still win. With campaigns set to begin, members of the group are confident of securing massive support for the APC in Bayelsa State. And that's it on the news updates for today on Wake Up Nigeria. At this point, uh, we'll be joining uh, Winfrey and Chef Blossom in the kitchen. Thank you, Mary. Welcome back to the Wake Up yep. Nigeria kitchen. We're still here making kingdom rice, rice and beans, and beans with, with dirty, dirty sauce. sauce. Mm -hmm. So now we have the palm oil, we which is hot. You, so we actually yeah. waited mm -hmm. so you guys catch this moment yep. on camera. All right. So, so we have the palm oil sauce it. right there. And we're putting our tomato mix. I'll give you some space here. <laughs> I love you, but not so much. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you're just joining us, what exactly we need to make our rice and beans with dirty sauce. The ingredients right on the screen. We have salt, rice, fish, eggs, garlic, ginger, onions, peppers, palm oils, tomatoes, and of course, your seasoning cubes. Oh, now look at that. Look at that. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks really, really nice. Thank really, you. really nice. And uh, we're just going to wait for that to you fry. You're allowed to cook on high heat, please. On, oh, yes, tomato now. Mm -hmm. Is there an option? Mm -hmm. No option whatsoever. And mind you, it wasn't parboiled. It wasn't parboiled, yeah, so, so just straight just, frying. Yeah, so you have to cook it on high heat. I, do, I really don't get it when people actually parboil their tomato. What, what does he do? I watched a video not too long ago. You know, if you eat raw tomatoes, mm -hmm. or you make jollof rice with tomato that, is not, that wasn't parboiled, mm -hmm. it's going to slap you. Really? It has a slappy, this sourry, sour yes, sour taste. But yeah. then again, when you now eat it, when you chop tomato and you to make sauce, what's not the difference? Like or fresh tomatoes? Eat, yes. Or when you eat raw tomatoes? It's healthier, it's good, mm. but for taste, it just makes me think can't... nothing. But the sauce is healthier if the tomato is not so cooked. Because uh, me, I must bond the tomato. Me, I won't eat it. If I'm though. making jollof, you won't eat it if it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not it's cooked, very of course. Sorry, it's it's it will. It will. Okay. Nice. Uh, so now we have that. So how long do we need that to fry for? Give or take mm -hmm. 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 whole minutes. Okay, yeah. we're putting our... So you see the trick I told you. Instead yes. of frying, you put it inside the tomato. That's early enough. Early enough. So, so it, it cooks, cooks properly. properly. Yes. Nice. Okay, sauce. I mean, this is a very good tip. Very, very good okay, tip. Okay, let me... Mm -hmm. This is no nice, and it's true. All the flavor actually gets goes in into the yes to the sauce. That's nice. What is this here? Yeah. That's crayfish. I How blended did crayfish. you blend the crayfish? Why is it liquid? Yeah, I had to blend with water. You blended crayfish with water. I've not yes. seen this type before. Should really? Awesome. You show us. Do you pound your crayfish? You don't blend your crayfish with blender. We dry meal now. Okay. Yes, because dry? we actually have the wet. Okay. Then that's why. So that's and it still works. I think that's that's the amazement for me. See, you're just used to doing things one way. Mm -hmm. You're not even sure how it's done other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, good, good, good. So yeah, if you don't have the dry meal, you actually you can use. But um, you be careful with the water. Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, just make sure you don't have too much water, right? Okay. Yes, so now we'll pour water. it in. For this two. sauce, you you have to be very careful with your water. If, as you can see, we have this mist stock. Yeah. Right. So put everything at once. Mother says you should throw this in a wheel. No, please don't throw it in a wheel. Mother says you throw this in a wheel. My father said that she used it. <laughs> so it's actually very healthy. Yeah. It adds some more flavor so, to the. Oh wow. As that meaty, meaty taste, taste. Right. Yeah. And we have all of that in. So we're just gonna cover that and leave it to cook for about twenty your minutes. Eggs. Oh, you put in the eggs now. What's a bit too yes. soft? No, no. Egg. Yes, now. No, no, no. <laughs> It will be too soft. Wow. So I think all of this, what's left is just the fish to put inside. Yeah, just some weight so that it doesn't scatter. Okay, so we need to go on a break now. And uh, of course, um, you guys see now, we're making our rice and beans and sauce. And mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely coming together really nicely. Yeah. By the time we are back in the kitchen, we'll be ready. We'll all be ready mm -hmm. and served. And uh, right now we have um, a lot to, um, to go. Uh, but let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Yay. <laughs> Finally, we have been joined by two. Not one, mm -mm. I think three actually. Oh. <laughs> Beauty queens on the couch. Uh, we have Miss Earth Nigeria, yeah. Esther Oluwato Siajai, mm -hmm. 
Mm. And uh, if Naya Basilia Ikechuku, Miss mm -hmm. Eco Tourism Nigeria. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they are both models. Mm -hmm. And of course, amongst other many things that they happen to do with their beautiful selves. Hi, ladies. How are you guys doing this morning? Hello. I'm fine. Aww. How about you? It smells very well. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wondered are, are these mm. um, tiaras, the crowns, are they heavy? Well, mine is not heavy. Mm. Mine is not. Are you sure? It's yeah, it's not. Are you sure? It's not I think heavy. it's a case of you guys just get used to yes, it. First okay. time, it feels really heavy. Mm -hmm. And then yes. the more you have to wear, wear it, it balance with yes. it. Mary, there's nothing heavy about a crown on your head. You're not wearing one right <laughs> now. I am. You just can't see it. <laughs> okay, so I mean, we're talking about Miss Earth. So now you happen to hold the title Miss Eco Tourism, mm -hmm. right? Which was also um, um, titled or given to you as well during the okay, Miss right. Earth Nigeria Beauty Party. So now tell me, what was that experience like starting with you? Okay, Miss Earth Nigeria mm -hmm. is a very um, beautiful platform for mm -hmm. young ladies. Mm -hmm because um, this platform has created windows of, of, of opportunities for young ladies to get to know about their environment and not just like the regular pageant yeah. that we have, like the Miss World, Miss Universe. Miss Earth is centered around your empowering young women to get familiar with their environment about global warming, climate change, environmental awareness. So it's a very, very different and unique type of pageant. Wow. So as Miss Ecotourism, uh, what are your functions? What are the things you're supposed to do? Okay, I think there is no defined thing for you to do. You just have to know what you want to do with the title given to you. Okay. And with the title given to me, I really love traveling, although it's a part of me I'm yet to explore. But with this opportunity, I will get to like go to a lot of places in Nigeria, highlighting on the tourist sites we have in Nigeria, especially the naturally conserved areas. We have a lot of them in Nigeria, but it's, I feel like I call it untapped potential, and I would try my best with my platform to bring these um, places to light so that the world we get to see what we have. But I'm sure you've heard yeah. a few places in Nigeria. Which one are you really looking forward to visiting? Like if your tenure ends and you don't get to visit it, you'll be like, why? Okay, there's no one. There are a lot of them, but let me talk about one. We have just two suspended lakes in the world. Like, I mean, like lake that is up in the cave, up um, above the rock. And we have one of it in Nigeria, in Oyo States. Ado mm. Awoye. So I really want to get there. I want to see. And they said the water is, you don't know where the water is going to. And anybody, and all this mirth that comes with this, um, they said anybody that puts their leg into it, something, something. But I really want to visit there. I'll put I your really... leg into it. <laughs> and try. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but being Miss Earth, I, I, I'm, I'm very sure you have to do a lot of research. Mm. Yes. What were the things you discovered? Well, originally before the pageant, I was a different person mm -hmm. because I, I am an different. entertainer yes, and yes. for sure I love to be in front of camera. I love to be the spotlight <laughs> and site of attraction and attention. But ever since I um, started making my research about Miss Earth, everything changed and um, things that I love doing started you know, feeding off to something new. Mm. Now I just want to know more about my environment, nature, animals, mm -hmm. and things that we do not even know that matters, which especially we, is very important because everybody has this in common, which is the earth. Mm -hmm. The earth is the only place we, we share. share. So now as the Miss Earth, I have so much to do. I have so much to teach the younger generation about the earth. Yeah. So it's a new world for me and I want to explore this. Mm -hmm. nice. Amazing. Okay, so now, of course, I know you as an entertainer. I mean, I've even had the privilege of shooting you um, in one of one, a music video and all of that. And of course, you yourself, you are a data analyst and, uh, and uh, a model, as, amongst other things. So now, I think it's very important, right, when we go into pageantry for us to know why we went to pageantry. So what would you say was your purpose for going into pageantry? If now? Okay, so pageant is a platform that it makes one discover more about themselves and give you the opportunity to stand for something in this society. So me going to places and creating awareness about the tourist sites we have in Nigeria, 
It's something I wouldn't do if I was not into pageant or if I wasn't given that title. So pageant is more like it's going to push you to come out of your shell and serve and serve the country for something, for a good purpose. Mm. So that was one of the things that motivated me to like, you know, try a pageant. Mm. Yeah. What about you? Yes. Try relevance. Yes. For me, mm -hmm. because I have so much interest for children, mm -hmm. and I believe um, growing up for me, if I'd known some things while growing up, I think I would be a better person right now. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm so much attached into entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I found a way, I, I thought of a way on how I can teach children in an entertaining way, okay. which was how I came up with the word entertaining. Mm -hmm. So I want to educate children on this type of platform, but in an entertaining way, because now the youth, Gen Z, mm -hmm. nobody wants to read a um, log of books. Everybody wants to be entertained while learning something. So I'm using this platform to empower the youth, to edutain them mm -hmm. on the necessary things they need to know about the earth. Nice. Mm. Very well said. Okay, now you guys have these lovely crowns on your head. And of course, the journey has literally just begun. You're representing Nigeria at the Miss Earth International Pageant. Yeah. You're representing Nigeria at the um, Miss Eco Tourism International. What are you, what is, what is your expectation? How are you preparing for that whole experience? Well, for me, it's not been easy mm. because you can call me a newbie in the <laughs> pageant world. Is this your first? This is not your first now. Well, this is my first big platform. Okay, okay, now, now I had one experience, but it wasn't up to this yeah. extent. But this is like an eye opener for me. Yeah. And to be honest, everything I've been doing has really um, contradict the lifestyle I had before. So <laughs> now I had to learn new things, new postures, poised, composure. Yeah. And I then miss. it's been helping my confidence helping me to build my confidence mm -hmm. so now preparing for miss earth mm -hmm. um, nigeria in the philippines has been really exciting we've mm -hmm. been shooting back-to-back -back videos in nature parks um, animal rescue centers mm -hmm. so now i have new experience on how to meet and represent nigeria in the international world That's so amazing. what i'll say is Stay glued to the TV, to the live shows, because I'm coming in another dimension. Like I yeah, said, edutaining. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. What about you? Okay, for me, my international pageant is next year, so I feel like I have like a year. And having that year, it's more like I should actually deliver. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm expecting a lot from myself. Yeah, and... I expect a lot from you. <laughs> yeah. you no. <know. laughs> yeah. And for me, I just want to go there as a Nigerian woman. I want to, I want people to hear Nigeria when I talk. I want people to see Nigeria when they see me. So I want to go bearing, representing Nigeria in all its glamour based on our, we have a lot of beautiful culture. Mm -hmm. yes. And I hope to carry every tribe <laughs> on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at this point, let's uh, take a quick break, okay? Um, when we get back, we, we're just going to head straight to the kitchen. Okay. Are you sure they eat stuff? You find out if they eat? They are going to eat. <laughs> she looks like she eats. Uh, <laughs> I love the way <laughs> Amazing. I miss ecotourism is the beautiful Miss Anambra. My son. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice. It was one month yesterday. Yes. Oh, wow. One month yesterday. Okay. Look at wow. that smile. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've nice. had um, Chef Blossom in the kitchen all morning, preparing Kingdom. this amazing Kingdom. Kingdom yes. rice and beans with yeah. dirty sauce. Mm -hmm. um, and we'd like you guys to try it out and tell us exactly what you think about it. Tell us. Right? I hope you eat things like this, though. <laughs> do you? Do you? You do? You, you do? Of course they yes. do. All right. Yeah. Kingdom rice and beans and oh. with yeah. dirty it's sauce. Food. Yep. Talk it's about really Kingdom bad. and dirty in one sentence. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Have a taste. Please, take wow. it. There you go. All right. So have a taste and tell us what you think. Okay. Let's hear your feedback. Please, go ahead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come. <laughs> With the rice. How do they na navigate this? The wisdom is navigating to the protein. <laughs> where you accept Navigate first, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, to taste it. Mm -hmm. ah, why are you here as if you are not here? Oh, you don't. Okay, so what do you think? Spicy. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, and you're clapping. Homemade film. Uh -huh. okay. okay. 
Alright, Ed's coming from you. Okay, yeah. Let doing... me go again. <laughs> oh my god, Poma! Thank you! Uh, uh, you guys are Poma. eating leather. Is it bad? Has it been bad yet? Not yet. Good yet. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, was thinking, I was thinking it was contraband. Okay, thank you so much uh, for being a thank part of today's you. show. Yeah. Uh, thanks to you for watching. Thanks to everyone who has been a guest on the show today. Thanks to the crew. And of course, uh, thanks to Chef Blossom. Yes, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> At this point, we have to wish you a very good day and hoping you join us again tomorrow, bright and early 7 a.m. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.